Hey guys, what is up? Irving here, bringing you guys another episode of Sky Factory 4. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing very well. I'm actually recording this not so long after the previous episode. So, at the end of the last episode, uh, if you remember, if I go down here... Uh, you can see that we have this uh, farm going on in the back. As you can see, I haven't really made any seeds yet. Um, and I haven't even let them grow for that long. So uh, that's not something that I'll probably be showing this episode. Probably for the next one. I'll show you a little bit of a progress update. But I thought it'd be a good time to stop and uh, do some miscellaneous tasks uh, that I would like to get done. So the first thing I'd want to get done is I want to get some sort of flight. Um, and for right now, I just want to make a uh, jetpack. So I see that there is actually a jetpack in the uh, in the mod pack. So we're actually gonna do this uh, first. So some materials that we're gonna need are actually gonna be uh, some compressed redstone, but we also need to make some, I believe, yes, yeah, some invar plates. Uh, so both of these are done in the enrichment chamber. All right, so I've gotten some compressed redstone and also some invar plates. Uh, we should have, I believe, enough to at least make this stone jetpack. So the first thing I'm going to make is this stone capacitor, uh, which requires some stone energy cells. In fact, uh, you'll see stone energy cells throughout. So there's three there. Uh, there's a few other here. And uh, yeah, these all have basic coils in them. Uh, so we're actually going to take these and we're going to make, I guess, 11 of those coils. Uh, we will then need a few of these batteries. I believe we need, uh, so it was three here and then one there and one on the other one. So we need five of those. And we also need uh, a couple furnaces. I actually have some already, so that should make our stone thrusters. Uh, we need a leather strap, which is just iron and some leather. Uh, just like so and then uh, the stone capacitor is just the energy cells with stone and that makes the capacitor that should be everything I believe uh, that's gonna make the stone jetpack is automatically gonna uh, It's automatically gonna fill up and I'm assuming you have to wear it Okay, so that uh, if I press the spacebar you can see I kind of fly as soon as I let go I kind of fall uh, It is kind of nice and since I it, while I'm around the area uh, energy really won't be a problem. Uh, is there fall damage? I'm gonna go a little bit higher So yes, there is fall damage. So that's something you have to worry about. There is a hover mode uh, Which I'm gonna have to find in the configs to see how to turn those on All right guys, so it looks like by default comma turns the engine on and off So obviously if it's on you if you press spacebar you hover or I guess you fly up if you press comments off, then you jump normally and you can't really use your jetpack. And the other mode is H, which is hover mode. So it, it kind of tries to keep uh, you hovering. But as you can see, you kind of slowly go down. And I'm assuming this gets better uh, the higher tier you are. But yeah, the hover mode just kind of tries to keep you hovering, but... Obviously, it's not doing that great of a job. So that was H and then comma uh, for the engine. All right, guys. So let's actually work on getting the next tier, which is actually the iron jetpack. So we're going to need iron capacitors and iron thrusters, uh, which all of these use iron energy cells, which all of these use basic coils. Uh, so we will go ahead and make, I believe, 11 of these. And then we will then... Uh, use them to make five of these uh, energy cells and then from there we should be able to craft the thrusters uh, just like so and we should be able to craft the iron capacitor and then if we take this with our stone jetpack we should now have the iron jetpack which uh, should be filling up pretty quickly I can also use this charger here uh, to fill it up a little bit faster uh, And let's go ahead and try it on so it's already on um, So yeah, you can already see that you get more speed by pressing the spacebar. So it's easier to get up in the air uh, now hover mode 
So it's a little bit better, but as you can see, you're, we're still sinking, not as fast, but we are doing a whole lot better, uh, which is really nice to get around. All right, guys, so let's actually take our iron jetpack and upgrade it to the next tier, uh, which is actually an Electrum jetpack. So this one's a little bit different because now we require uh, advanced coils uh, everywhere, basically. Uh, so advanced coils actually use glowstone ingots, which if you remember, you use that in the osmium compressor. You put glowstone dust up top, or I guess uh, osmium down below, and then the glowstone dust up here. Uh, and this will give us the glowstone ingots, which is different. All right, so now I have my glowstone ingots, uh, which should be all we need to make a uh, the next tier jetpack. The Electrum one to be exact. All right, so we're gonna need, again, uh, 11 of these advanced coils. Uh, from there, we can go ahead and make five of these Electrum uh, energy cells. And then from there, we can make our thrusters. Actually, something different, no longer using a furnace. Now we're using a resourceful furnace, which uses plastic furnace, machine cases, and uh, gold. We've made all of these in the past, uh, so we should be able to make that just fine. And uh, that will make our thrusters. All right, so now we need the capacitor, uh, which is simple, just like so. And then uh, putting our iron jetpack in this recipe should give us the electrum jetpack, uh, which is the next tier. So this one actually requires a lot more energy. Uh, so I'm actually gonna just place that in the charger uh, so that it can charge a little bit faster. All right, guys, so my Electrum Jetpack is actually done charging. Uh, so I want to try it out. So again, comma to turn on the engine. Oh, wow, and you, the thruster is pretty powerful on this thing. Uh, let's just kind of, yeah, it's so fast. Um, now let's try the hover mode. So H. Oh, as you can see, um, you manage a little bit better. The, even slower on the descent still descending but it's a lot slower you can basically hover pretty well which is pretty nice for this jetpack not gonna lie but we're not gonna stop there of course not we're, we're gonna keep going we're gonna make this the next tier which the next tier is actually um steel so to make steel we need steel energy cells we need elite coils this time which is compressed diamond, which we already know how to make, and compressed redstone, which we already know how to make. So, very simple. Uh, we can make 11 of those. Uh, then from there, we can make these uh, steel energy cells, which again, we need five. And then we need uh, more resourceful furnaces, uh, which again requires plastic, the machine case, uh, chassis, gold, all that stuff. Uh, a little... I guess uh, something about the plastic, if, if, if that's something you need to automate, uh, there's an easy way to do it. Um, so here I have a block placer from Cyclic, does not require any power. And uh, you, all you have to do is put oak wood in there, put it always on, and it'll always place a block of wood in front of, in my case, the tree fluid extractor. So it's just always gonna place a block there. I'm always gonna be getting latex, uh, and this will always be making tiny dry rubber. Uh, just a little tip in order for you guys to automate uh, your plastic. But now that we have that, uh, we should be able to craft uh, these steel thrusters. And then we should be able to make the capacitor. And then finally, make the steel jetpack. Just like so. So again, I'm going to let this charge for a little bit. All right, so I decided to put the steel... Uh, the steel jetpack inside of here. I literally just put it here and it charged basically instantly That is pretty good. I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know, but let's go ahead and put this on and uh, Let's test it out. So this uh, the engines on right now So yes, even faster in terms of uh, going up just like this uh, and in terms of hovering Oh, you go down really, really slow. This is really nice. This is basically almost uh, full hovering there. 
In fact, let's kind of check it out. Yeah, this is this is really nice. And yep, turning that on and that off. All right, so let's look at the the last and the final tier, uh, which is platinum jetpacks. So we're gonna need a lot of platinum ingots, which uh, we can actually get from uh, this pulverized platinum. Uh, yes, the pulverized one. You can get with diamonds uh, in and the metallurgic infuser with silver. So that's actually the the way we're gonna go about it. But we need these nuclear furnaces. Uh, we know how to make the basic plating. We've made it before. The taff, the tough alloy, however, is new and requires things that we don't have yet. Like for example, this ferroboron and lithium dust. Um, I believe lithium. Yeah, these, these are just things we're gonna have to go get. So that's actually a quest, I believe, uh, is to get those different ores. So here is lithium ore. Um, and there's the boron, which is what you will need uh, to get the other one. And as you can see, you have to either go to this Lost Cities or the Twilight Forest uh, to get those. So we're actually going to go to the Twilight Forest since we have that unlocked. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm missing anything. Alrighty, guys. So I'm actually here in the Twilight again. Uh, but the nice thing is that now we're here with the jetpack. So I'm literally going to turn this jetpack on. I'm going to turn hover mode on. Uh, and we're literally just gonna fly all the way down here um, And you can see that there's actually ores on the outside here And uh, that's what we're gonna take advantage of. Ooh, there's some diamonds there But we're basically gonna look around and try to find those different ores I think we might have a better chance looking underneath But yeah, I'm gonna find those ores All right, so it looks like I found some lithium so I'm literally just going to go here and uh, try to pick this up without it falling. I got it there. I'm not sure exactly how many I need, but I think I'd be fine with four. All right, and it looks like I found boron as well. Uh, very, very uh, faint there. Very light gray. You can, It's very, very hard to see. Um, but I did find it nonetheless. Uh, also, something I need to be looking at is my energy, but it looks like the energy on the jetpack is doing just fine. Uh, but again, I'm going to get two of these boron. All right, guys. So it looks like I messed up with the recording. Uh, so I'm going to re-describe what I just did because um, I think I feel like it's really important. But we are working on getting this platinum uh, jetpack here. And um, what I did is I disconnected... Uh, the silver amber from here for a while so that allowed us to get silver in here uh, in fact I it's probably yeah it's all gone by now but we had silver amber there because I had taken that off and all I did was I put the silver amber here uh, with some diamond and this makes a uh, pulverized platinum so we're actually gonna need a lot more diamond which I did not see uh, because um, if I look at the recipe for this uh, we're gonna be making that and uh, we look at our metallurgic infuser you can see that you this uses 160 diamond which I believe is 16 diamonds or actually two diamonds if you use the compressed so two diamonds for every silver amber so it, in our case I wanted to make a stack so we're gonna need uh, a little bit over a stack of diamonds no no not over a stack yeah, yeah, a little bit over a stack, I believe. Uh, so we're going to make sure to uh, make a few of these. And once I get these compressed uh, diamonds, for example, here, those two should allow me to get a single one there. So yeah, we're going to need uh, two stacks of diamonds uh, to, to make a stack of pulverized platinum, just to for you to know. All right, the next thing I was working on uh, was making our uh, nuclear furnace and making this tough alloy. So really what we only needed uh, was uh, we only needed one boron uh, ore and, and two lithium ore. The reason for it is because this boron dust uh, we can get from the enrichment chamber. So what, with one boron ore, we can get two boron dust, right? And then using two boron dust in the alloy furnace with a um, 
two boron dust with two steel would give us four of this ferro boron and uh with those four and then we'd put um two lithium into the enrichment chamber which doubles it so we'd get four there so then we'd have four lithium four ferro boron we put those in here and we get the tough alloy uh, so I thought that was recording, but I guess I had that backwards. I ended up pausing the recording instead of actually recording. But now we have our tough alloy there. And again, we only need, we only have eight there. So we're, we're going to need a good amount of, of diamond here. All right. What we can do now with, uh, this pulverized platinum is that we can put this in the smelting. Uh, which is full, so I'm just going to do it manually in this ener energized smelter. And this should give us the platinum ingots that we need. All right, the other thing uh, we need to make is actually, if I go here, we're going to need these platinum energy cells, which have ultimate coils in there. Uh, so ultimate coils use the elite control circuits, which we've made before, so we should have that. Uh, so we should be able to craft these, actually. Uh, again... 11 of these from there uh we can make the energy cells which all of these require platinum so we're gonna wait on the platinum before we move on all right so we actually got our whole stack of platinum which is uh pretty great it didn't take that long uh but now we should be able to make these energy cells we only need five of them uh after that we need uh these nuclear furnaces so again basic plating we've made before uh, so we should have all this ready to go, which we do. And then we make a few nuclear furnaces. And we should be able to make the thrusters now. And then we need the uh, the capacitor up top. And I believe that's everything to make this. We just need to put this in here. And there we go. Platinum jetpack. All right, so what I was showing you guys over here, or what I was talking about, is if you put this in here, it should charge a lot faster. As you can see, basically instant. So that is a pretty good way to charge these, in my opinion. Um, but there we go, tier five. Now let's test this out. So first, comma, turn that on. Okay, pretty good. All right, now how's the hover on this? It's perfect. It, do it doesn't look like it's moving at all, which means, uh, yeah, this is this is basically as close as creative flight that we're going to get in with uh, jetpacks uh, here. I wonder if there's fall damage. Yes. So that's something to be careful about. Still, there is still fall damage, uh, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, but I think for this episode, that's all I'm going to do. I'm pretty happy with our progress. We got our jetpack so we can now fly and uh, hover as well. So we can just like <laughs> be in the air, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, even with just the jetpack. I, I didn't know it was going to take this long, but it did. But anyways, if you guys uh, like this episode, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, help me get, uh, get to 500 subscribers, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya.